Okay, so here's my bolt cutters, and after months of use, when we try to cut, this is stainless steel, but normally they were able to do that. But now it's putting in a bend, and it's not enough where you can easily snap it. Right. It is scoring both sides, but it's not cutting it. And it's doing better through. than it did this morning. He, he messed them up to right. right. for demonstration purposes. And right. He didn't mess it up enough. But Okay. Okay. But there's... There's two adjustments on, on a bolt cutter. These two bolts align the jaws so that they are perpendicular to each I can other. I zoom in if you... If you okay. Can. So, you see okay. how they're off? The top one's a little bit skewed to the right. All right. Okay. All you need to do is take a, an adjustable wrench and tighten them, but not too tight. Snug. Because otherwise you'll inhibit being able to open and close them. So just snug them both down and that should bring the jaws in alignment with each other. See how the points right, right. here are lined mm -hmm. up perfectly now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, the other adjustment is this bolt on the side and what you can see now is a gap, an air gap. Wait, let me get it. Okay. okay. Go ahead, put your hand behind it. See, you can see my skin behind it? Yeah. There's space between the blades. Right. So what we want to do is take a, take a wrench again, adjustable wrench. And again, this is not something that needs to be done with any force at all, really. Just a little bit to be able to eliminate that. There's still space. Still space, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's trial and error. Let's see how we are now. Still a little bit of space. Okay. And you've got the handles being pushed together while you're doing this. Yes. So that you... mm -hmm. I don't see any air. Okay. So now, let's show how much better it works. Right. We can do the same spoon that we just did. Fresh one. Fresh one, okay. Where's it gonna go? I can't line that up from here. Okay. Yep. Pop. That's that's the way it should work. Pops right off. The first one because it was already scored um, when it was misaligned, it didn't quite pop. So, but works much better now. First, align your jaws with the two bolts that <laughs> that keep the jaws together. Yeah. So what he's saying is, make sure your points are lined up right yep. here, and these two screws or bolts are what aligns the point. Right. And then adjust the gap between the two jaws. I recommend loosening this gap adjustment before you actually tighten these down. Tighten these down so that your jaws are aligned and then reset this by t torquing down that until you see no air gap between the jaws. Right, because if you try to do this one first, right. they'll overlap each other. Right. Instead of, because th the points are not lined up, so if it's skewed mm. to the side, then one's gonna slide over the other one. Right. Hope that makes sense. Yep. Hope this helps you guys. I know it made my day a whole lot easier. <laughs> Talk to you soon.